Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics, where we we'll give you all the gist and facts about your favorite Yoruba Nollywood actors and actresses. This is the life of Lizzie J. Omoy Badon. Ade Yela Adebola, popularly known as Lizzie J. Omoy Badon, has carved a niche for herself in the entertainment industry. The talented actress and comedian was born and brought up in Ileife, Ocean State. She had both her primary and secondary education in the city. Subsequently, she left Ileife for a day, still within the state, to further her education. She got a national diploma certificate from Ede Polytechnic. She's an undergraduate of the Polytechnic Ibado, or your state, where she studied microbiology. She's at the moment in higher national diploma. She decided to study microbiology because she loves medical related courses. Omo Ibado has featured in several movies, including Shubola, Last Card, Jebitani, Ajoji Laughing, and many others. This DJ is the brain behind Omo Ibado Cousin Center. A comedy skit series on social media. How was Lizzie just growing up like? Her father is a politician and her mother is a federal worker, she says. Growing up was fun. I grew up in an environment where there were many kids, so we really had fun. It wasn't the get inside type of life parents operate with their kids now. What was her parents' reaction when she delved into show business? For her, she thanks God for the kind of parents she has. They support everything she does, especially her dad. Her dad is her number one fan and cheerleader. When Lizzie J. Omobado was asked how she copes with male fans, especially her schoolmates, she replied, I have a manager, so most of my calls go to him. And once I see that a call from a particular person is getting too much and it's not about business, I'll ask my manager not to answer the call. As for my mates in school, I relate to them very well, and that's all. Who is Lizzie J. Omobado's boyfriend? Is she secretly engaged or married? And how does he cope with her fame? Lizzie J. says, I'm not in a relationship now, and she's of the view that many are men and few are husbands. How did Lizzie J start acting in Yoruba movies? She said, when you are consistent with what you do, things start happening. When people see what I do, they invite me to take part in their movies. Between acting and comedy, which one does Omar Bado appreciate more? For her, she loves and appreciates both. Her comedy skits are more of acting, so there is no way she can separate one from another. On how she became a comedian, she said, I've always been a lady with great sense of humor right from time. Before the journey into becoming a known comedian, I have fans on Facebook who look forward to my funny write-ups. But the journey officially started in the year 2017. That was around April when I decided to start making these funny thoughts into skits rather than just writing posts on Facebook. On how she turned it into a business, she said, I didn't start comedy because I thought it was going to bring me money. I started for the love of it, but you know, when you are consistent with what you do, the unexpected will start happening. I make my money through hard work, shows, event hosting, and other things. What influenced her comedy line? Omar Bada stated that she really can't say this is exactly what influenced it. In her words, it's just my random thoughts. I had few comedy skits before I came up with Omar Bada, Cousin Center concept. I saw people loved and accepted it, so I decided to build more around the concept and continue like a series. Speaking on the concept of Omar Bado Cousin Center, she explained that it's a concept that builds around a dumb hair teacher teaching other ignorant students just because she believes teaching is a holy means of livelihood and she can go to teach in that vicinity. Despite the fact that the parents in the area are not educated, they still strive so hard to make sure that their children get education, even if they don't have much to send them to school. The dumb hair teacher takes this as an opportunity to scam the entire community, making them believe she's a professional teacher and she's capable of educating their children. The unsuspecting parents don't know that Omo Badon character is just a dumb head. Lizzie J was asked if this concept is a true life story that she adopted from somewhere and she had this to say. Not at all, it's just a fiction and it's my concept. Lizzie J is from Oshun State, but she speaks about Badon fluently. What is the secret? She replied, I don't know how I learned the accent. Maybe from Yoruba movies I watch, or maybe because I once schooled in Ede. Ede also has a similar accent with Oyo. When Lizzie J started, did she see future in comedy? She said, I started doing comedy not really as a serious thing. I was just doing it for fun. I attached no importance to it at first. It was later I started saying something worthwhile in it. I was even discouraged by many when I said with the skits. But because I'm the type who does exactly what I want to do, so I was not discouraged. She was asked to share some of the discouragements she got and from whom. Omar Ibad replied that she would not like to share the discouragements or from whom they came from. 
because she believed that people who encouraged her and the ones who discouraged her wanted the best for her. And today, they are all part of her success story. In other words, you know sometimes, people discourage you not because they really want to or they don't want the best for you, but because they don't just see anything positive or any future in what you're trying to do. That is why it is good to believe in yourself and do what you know how best to do, no matter what others feel about it. As long as it has to do with my life, I have learned to listen to myself and to stick to my own decisions more than I listen to other people's opinion. After all, the only person that knows the best thing for me is me. As long as I have a positive feeling about what I'm doing, I don't care what others say. Skits making then didn't cost me anything other than the time I used to record the skits and the MB I used to upload the skits. And to crown it all, many people appreciate it. Some people even used to call me and say thank you for making us smile. That's enough encouragement for me. That's enough to keep me doing skits. When God began to open doors for my battle in the same comedy job, those who discouraged her initially didn't have any other choice than to support her. Ever since Lizzie J kicked up professionally, what are the challenges she has faced? The challenges now are not something I want to talk about, she said. They are too petty for Lizzie J to talk about them, and she didn't know where to pick or start narrating them. Then the actress said, well, I concentrate more on comedy, obviously, because that is my foundation, and that is where I make my money. I do movies simply for the passion I have for acting, and I only go to movie sets when I have the chance. I actually didn't have much to say about challenges when I was doing my skits until I started taking up movie roles, she told Saturday Beats. Adeyela Adebolai K. Lizzy J. Omobadon recently opened up about sexual harassment. She alleged that a movie producer sexually molested her. According to her, she decided to talk about it because she felt the need to speak for others who might be suffering from such experiences. She said, I like that he molested me sexually. For the record, when the whole thing started, I informed my family and a few older people in the industry about it. They asked me to keep calm and move on. If I wanted to institute an action, I would have done so. I felt I needed to be at peace with my mind as regards the issue and to give a voice to whoever is suffering or has suffered the same fate as mine. Hence the outburst. Like I said on my Instagram page, the molestation of a woman is a the molestation of a woman is a desecration of our values. Rape trend or not, we all have our ways of addressing issues peculiar to us. For the record again, I maintain my stand and I retreat all I have said without any equivocation, save for the fact that I do not intend to do further than I have done so far, having found my peace. And because of the intervention of some persons I respect, like Mr. Latin and Mr. Yinka Kodri, However, if anyone feels he has been defamed by my outburst or allegation, let him seek redress and I will furnish the right quarters with my evidence, she told Saturday Beats. Omar Badon used to be part of Abiodun Jima's movie production team before I exit from his team. When asked about how she would describe her working relationship with Jima, she noted that it was an interesting phase for her. She said, I will be a hypocrite if I say working with him for a few months was not interesting. I only got to go to his movie set once in a while. Like I already said, I concentrate more on my comedy than acting. I had to eventually quit when I couldn't cope with several moves and actions. And for the record, he didn't send me away. I quit. I left the group on my own. He is aware of this, as well as other people are informed about my intention to leave. What should Lizzie J. Omobadon's fans be expecting from her son? Lizzie J. says they should watch out for the best of Lizzie J. Well, we hope you enjoyed today's episode of Outline Topics. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for our daily content. And we hope you have learned a lot about Omoibado, Lizzie J. Until next time, remain blessed.